space you see is not just nothing in the journal of modern physics a significant paper titled extraterrestrial life in space plasmas in the thermosphere uap pre-life fourth state of matter presents a comprehensive study on thermospheric plasmas and their intriguing behaviors, which could redefine our understanding of unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, and the potential for non-biological forms of life. The research meticulously outlines how plasmas, recognized as the fourth state of matter, exhibit complex behaviors that go beyond mere physical properties. Notably, these plasmas demonstrate an ability to feed on the electromagnetic energy produced by lightning storms. This interaction suggests a more dynamic relationship between these plasmas and their environment highlighting their ability to absorb and possibly utilize energy from natural atmospheric phenomena. In one of the most compelling pieces of evidence presented in the paper, the researchers delve into an incident involving a NASA space shuttle mission, specifically the STS-75 mission in 1996. During this mission, the crew deployed the Tethered Satellite System, a science experiment intended to study the feasibility of generating electricity in space by dragging a conductor through the Earth's magnetic field. However, the mission took an unexpected turn when the 12-mile-long tether broke, leaving the satellite to drift away while still generating significant electromagnetic fields. It was during this unplanned event that an extraordinary phenomenon was observed and recorded. Franklin, uh, we see a long line, a couple of star-like things, and a lot of things swimming in the foreground. Can you describe what you're seeing? Well, the long line is, uh, is a tether, um, and uh, there's a little bit of debris that uh, kind of flies with us, and uh, it's uh, illuminated by the sun. That Hundreds of luminous objects, identified as plasmas, began swarming towards the electrified tether, displaying a range of intricate behaviors. The footage captured from this incident shows these plasmas interacting with the tether in ways that defy simple explanation. They were seen feeding on the electromagnetic energy emitted by the tether, echoing the behavior of biological organisms seeking sustenance. Moreover, some of the plasmas exhibited what could be interpreted as predatory behavior, moving towards and seemingly engaging with other plasmas in a manner suggestive of hunting. This incident not only provided visual evidence of the complex behaviors of plasmas in the thermosphere, but also highlighted their attraction to electromagnetic energy sources, supporting the hypothesis that these entities could be engaging in lifelike processes. Such observations challenge the conventional boundaries between life and non-life, suggesting that plasmas in the thermosphere might represent a form of pre-life or an entirely new category of existence. The document also explores the connection between these plasma behaviors and the phenomena reported as UAP. The similarities in movements, such as sudden accelerations, abrupt changes in direction, and the ability to hover, align closely with the capabilities of thermospheric plasmas. This paper is a pivotal contribution to the field offering a fresh perspective on the nature of plasmas, their potential role in the broader ecosystem of the universe, and their relevance to the ongoing investigation into UAP.